Hello, Midland, Texas. I uh, had something happen today, I'll tell you about in a minute, that reminded me of this older video I've done. This was posted three years ago. And uh, one minute long. Okay, and, and so basically what I'm saying, here it was uh, a month or two before I was ambushed and shot. I was, I was seeing these large, perfectly round blue bruises on the tops of my thighs. Couldn't figure out where they come from. And I'm thinking, what, did I run into something? I didn't remember running anything. And, and you know, I was waking up and here's this weird bruise, you know, and, and there was more than one of them um, on top of my thighs. And then after I'm shot... I, I see the same bruises again, but I knew where they come from. They come from the pain shots that I was being given uh, that was in the muscle. And, and, and so what they're called is injection site bruises. They're perfectly round blue bruises there. And, um, and, and so I, I suspected that the ex-wife who was a nurse, RN, and carried hypodermic needles inside her purse might have been drugging me while I was asleep, you know, and I don't know what happened during that time. And so uh, I, I thought about, you know, this video there. The other thing I told a person last night, I was telling a story about when my mom died on the night of December 7th, uh, 2011, five weeks before I was ambushed and shot, and we drive over to Hodds, me and the ex-wife, and uh, and we're sleeping over there, and and I, and I remember her uh, prodding me, wanting me to take a pill. You know, you, you need a pill to go to sleep. You know, I, I got a Lord tab and all that, and I'm like, no, no, I don't, I don't need anything. And and uh, and and I slept, you know, hard all night, whatever. It was, you know, not my mom died. Well, then in January fourth, that weekend, whatever, my son comes down, and him and his wife, and he's telling me that that night at Grandma's house, when or Grandpa's house, when Grandma died, that some woman was in uh, his room all night talking to him, and the only other woman in the house was was my ex-wife, you know, and of course I was asleep, and so I wonder if that was one of the nights that I was knocked out, drugged, whatever, and, but the reason I thought about this is because I just took a shower this morning, and, and I see these weird bruises, or weird bruise on my arm, it's like, it's like when I go to, to, can you see it, I, I can't, I can't see if you can see it, but, uh, like when I go to the lab court, you know, I go do that quarterly, and I, and I have blood taken, and that's what it looks like. But I haven't, you know, I haven't done that in and uh, a couple of months, and and so you know, it's really concerning, especially with repeated break-ins of my house that's gone on forever. You know, the underground facility and 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 the tunnels, the million-dollar you know underground facility next to this house. I, you know, I have a lot of reason to concern. You know, I've survived a premeditated murder attempt, trouble proof, wasn't shot with my gun, I live under a death threat and uh, and and you know and, and I'll tell you just some of the new stuff today you know here's I posted this today I said I was shot with burglar uh, during a burglary and it's looking like it was corrupt police who shot me why are police involved in burglaries okay and and the reason that I would post that is because evidence shows not buddy said evidence shows that the burglar was trapped in my guest bathroom before I shot okay and and so uh, and then when I go to the, the newly found police reports, okay, what I show here, and I'm going to just read this to you. The evidence shows that I'd unknowingly trapped a burglar in my guest bathroom before I was ambushed and shot. The evidence also shows that Lieutenant Dickey uh, was inside my home, but not seen going in from the door. So obviously he came in from the underground entrance from where I was shot. 
we can surmise that it was Lieutenant Dickey who let out the trapped burglar, and very possibly he was the person that shot me. Police being involved in burglary, theft, and murder, or attempted murder of homeowners isn't something that can be overlooked. It's looking like it was that I was just the next guy to last guy, because it looks like they murdered Mike Lahan too. And I have a video link I put there who let the burglar out, and I'm showing the evidence. I'm showing the police report, and you know, and basically the. Uh, and I'm going to show it here in a minute. I'm going to tell it in a minute. I'll just keep on going down the list. My next one is just minutes after I crawled out, MPD officer April Chandler is at the hospital filling out an emergency detention form. Now I want to keep in mind that conflicts with the uh, police report. Uh, the the timestamps do, you know, but uh, the thing is April Chandler said she was at the 7-Eleven in, in my truck giving me first aid when it was Rosa Rodriguez and, and this right here, uh, this timestamp at the hospital proves that that was a lie. They both lied. But regardless of that, okay, Chandler's at the hospital filling out an emergency detention form and says Mr. Webb showed parents annoyed to the extent that he caused himself to suffer a gunshot wound. Now keep in mind I wasn't shot with my gun. Okay? Triple proof shows that. Notice that she started to write that I'd shot myself but scribbled out that that out and reworded it knowing it was a lie. I believe she was blaming me because I had unknowingly trapped a burglar during the commission of a felony. I had first called the police for a burglary 14 months earlier. They were breaking into my home and stealing services from me. Some of my posts today were showing that in the guest bathroom, the pry marks on the do door, uh, the the stealing the heating and cooling. Somebody asked, oh, how can they stay in the attic? You know, well, you know. And I said, well, you know, isn't it hot up there? Well, you know, it's pretty nice because they're breaking apart the HVAC, you know, the heating and cooling pipes, and and you know, and and I'm paying for it, you know. Okay, so here's Chandler here, and here's what she wrote. Mr. Webb showed paranoia to the extent that he and she went to write shot. You can see that, right? And then she scribbled out that he caught himself to suffer a gunshot wound to the ankle so so what it looks like to me is as you know she's writing this and she knew I didn't shoot myself but I caused myself it was my fault because I unknowingly trapped a burglar that was committing a felony against me a thief that was breaking in my home and so they had to shoot me it was my fault that's what it sounds like is that what it sounds like to you okay and let me go next okay and this is where it gets important and that's on the top I was seen crawling out at 1042, Chair, at 1042, that's a fact. Sheriff Woodward and Deputy Nader were seen arriving at 1101. They were identified by Empire Private Investigations. My front cameras were disabled at 1122, and nobody was seen coming in, or, or nobody else was seen arriving or coming in the house, okay? But when I got the new police report this year that I hadn't seen, I didn't even know it existed, okay? And I just got it this year from the night of the murder attempt. And you know why they hid it is this is why. Because Lieutenant Dickey was shown on the police report as being in my home at 1105. It looks like Dickey entered my home from the underground entrance and was the one who let the burglar out. You see, that burglar was trapped. It's very possible that, that he was the shooter, a.k.a. would-be killer, okay? And this is a screenshot from the newly found police report. And there's a timestamp. 11.05, Dickey says no one is in the house, inside and outside, lots of odd things like booby traps, etc. And and that was a lie. There wasn't no booby traps here. And But the question is, how can Dickey get inside my home at 11.05 and the cameras didn't see anybody coming at home? They wasn't disabled to 11.22, okay? And then you can also see... That we got Dylan Hale. I'm gonna back it off. De what is it? Yeah, Dylan Hale and Joe Ramirez and Kenny Ang Angel were also at 11:05 at my home, and they're not seen on the cameras. And so it makes sense that they were under my home from where I was shot. Okay, and we know I was shot from under my home. Triple proof shows that I was shot from two inches above ground two weeks after reporting a tunnel to the DA and I wasn't shot with my gun. Ricky Ronaldo used to live here. He said, I used to go in the tunnels under that house and multiple people said the underground facility tunnels are here. Okay, next one. Besides MPD Lieutenant Dickey, we also see listed on the police report these people being at my home. They were not also not seen on the cameras. MPD officers Dylan Hale, Joe Ramirez, Kenny Angle, Angel. It's unknown who tried to murder me, but these should be some of the top, top suspects as it looks like they were under my home and also were involved in the burglaries, thefts, and attempted murder. We should be checking to find out where they were at when Mike Lahan died and where they were at during the evenings of the 20 oil show party when the young girl died. And that's, a, you know, that's very important. Looking at the evidence, I was told about a girl being mur that murdered at that oil show party, and I believe that happened right here, you know. Uh, in one of these underground facilities I was told about, maybe right here in this backyard, okay. And a murder attempt becomes capital when it's done during the commission of a felony. 
and in this case the felony was burglary of a habitation a person commits burglary of a habitation or burglary with it with they enter a home without the effective consent of the owner right enters the builder in a habitation and commits and attempts to commit a felony theft or assault well that's pretty clear right there right theft of services texas law right a person commits theft of services with the intent to avoid payment for service that the actor knows provide only for compensation you know they're breaking apart my pops they're still in my heating and cooling runs 24 7 you know i mean it costs a small fortune and uh, they're not paying rent they're not paying utilities they're not paying taxes and all they have to do is uh is shoot the homeowner buddy webb midland texas